This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. Welcome back. Good nutrition, of course, is important for all of our lives, but our nutritional challenges change a bit as we age. I recently spoke with registered dietitian Lauren Stark from Kaiser Permanente, Washington, about what we really need to keep in mind. It's more important uh, as we age now than ever that we're getting enough protein, that we're getting those crucial uh, vitamins and minerals. Really important that we maintain our lean uh, muscle mass, making sure we're getting enough protein in our diet. And you can get those from our animal sources that we typically see, chicken, fish, eggs, but it, you can also find those in legumes. And if you um, really focus on different types of beans, you can buy them fresh or frozen or even no salt added uh, canned vegetables are great alternatives. You'd also want to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D and calcium in your diet. So I'd always recommend making sure that you're having milk or yogurt in your diet just to make sure you're getting uh, those extra nutrients to keep your bones healthy. And why is that so important as we mature? Our bodies change um, as we age and it's harder to, you know, keep weight on as we get older. So it's really vital that we're getting enough calories and getting enough protein to maintain our muscle mass. When you think about meal preparation and trying to use seasonal things that are out right now, what sorts of things come to mind for you? So for me, I really like to go to the farmer's market or look to see um, what's in my local grocery. And I brought here today um, a good example of what you can find at your local grocery store. Uh, right now, the berries are in season, which are really good. You can add them to a salad or just have a smoothie with them. Um, but you'll also see that there are some greens in here, some broccoli, bell peppers, and those are going to be really high um, in our vitamins that we need. We also are seeing lots of tomatoes right now. So using uh, our fruits and vegetables that are in season are mostly uh, going to be the best, like cost efficient and um, often are gonna taste the best. My favorite right now are these raspberries, delicious oh, from the farmer's market. And actually, last week, uh, we partnered with our owner of Marjorie Restaurant here on Capitol Hill. Her name is Donna Moody. And we did a live cooking demonstration of uh, making a lemon herb chicken with seasonal salad. And mm -hmm. the best thing about this recipe was that you could easily go to the farmer's market or grocery store and pick up those ingredients. The best way to um, use any of those leftovers from the recipe that we made can be made into uh, tacos, wraps, sandwiches, or soups. And the recipe and uh, full cooking demonstration can be found on Kaiser Permanente Washington uh, Facebook page. Now, if it's tough for older people or they feel a little uncomfortable uh, for COVID reasons about going frequently to the store or the farmer's market where there's fresh produce, are there ways around that? Yeah, there's great solutions. Um, if you reach out to your local senior service organizations, they have some uh, group meal programs where they can either deliver to you or you can go and pick them up in a safe environment at the local senior center. Um, and right now, Kaiser Permanente just pledged a half million dollars to support senior service organizations that provide delivered meals uh, to vulnerable seniors here in Washington. We're so proud to uh, be able to support those senior centers right now um, because it is such a vulnerable population. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for doing that. So if a person wanted to investigate a meal program just to see what it's like or to actually enroll or enroll for a parent or grandparent, how would you do it? I would reach out to the five senior uh, service organizations that we grouped with. Sound Generation, North Shore uh, Senior Center, Homage, Meals on Wheels of the Greater Spokane County, and then Senior Services of South Sound. So as simple as that. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me. To learn more about what we talked about today, please visit the link on your screen or check out New Day's website for more and a list of resources. After this break, I speak with a longtime friend about his very emotional battle with COVID-19 and his request to all of us. Margaret, congratulations, 10 years strong. You've been doing an amazing job. It's been great to get to know you during my last five or six years here in Seattle. Uh, best of luck to what's to come. Uh, I know great things are ahead of you. 
Uh, congratulations again on a great, great run. Cliff Averill signing off. Enjoy. Hey, Margaret, it's Chef Ethan here. Hey, I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Uh, you've certainly earned it. Uh, and also, thank you so much for being such a great ambassador of everybody out here in the Northwest. Uh, I personally love uh, working with you and getting to know you a little bit over the years. So thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a great time and uh, be well and take care of yourself. Thank you.